According to the American Hair Loss Association, male pattern baldness accounts for more than 95% of hair loss cases in men. By the age of 35, two-thirds of American men will experience some degree of hair loss. And by the age of 50, 85% of men will have thinning hair. Surprisingly, women make up to 40% of American hair loss sufferers today. It's a tough situation to have to deal with. When our hair falls out, part of our self-confidence and self-esteem goes out with it. This affects other areas in our lives, which includes interpersonal relationships and even our professional careers. The hair loss industry today is huge, as $3.5 billion are spent on hair loss products each year. If you do an internet search, you'll soon realize the vast amount of products that are available to treat your hair, which all vary in their effectiveness. There are a ton of products that are going to be a waste of your time and money. However, there are a select few that actually work, and work pretty well. In this video, I'm going to compare and review some of the most popular hair loss solutions on the market. The gold standard for hair loss treatment, hands down, is hair transplant surgery. It works by relocating hair follicles from the back of your head into areas where your hair is balding. Since the hair follicles in the back of your head are resistant to hair loss, when relocated to balding areas, the treatment can last a lifetime. Typical surgery and maintenance costs can range from $4,000 all the way up to the six figures range, depending on how much hair you want to get transplanted. This is way out of the range for most people, so you might have to look for other options. Another solution you can look into is Rogaine. It's one of the most popular hair loss treatments since it's frequently shown on TV or in magazines. The main ingredient in Rogaine is Minoxidil, the only FDA-approved solution that's been clinically shown to slow the progression of hair loss and grow new hair in. However, the American Hair Loss Association stated that the most informed experts see Minoxidil as marginally effective since it has no effects on the hormonal processes of hair loss. They look at Rogaine as a temporary solution that may not give the best long-term results. Another option you can look into is Propecia, which is regarded as one of the best hair prevention solutions in the market. Before I get into how it works, you're going to need to know a little bit about the science behind your hair loss. Male and female pattern baldness is caused by some weird chemistry in your scalp. Hair loss occurs when the hormone testosterone gets converted into dehydrotestosterone, otherwise known as DHT. DHT attaches to your hair follicles and shrinks them. It also makes the protective membrane of your scalp thicken, which restricts its blood flow, making further hair growth impossible. Propecia significantly reduces DHT, inhibiting the formation of it in your scalp. This, in effect, would prevent any additional hair loss you normally would experience. The reason I don't like Propecia is because of a few reasons. For one, only men are able to use Propecia. For the many men that do use it, sexual side effects are common, which includes a loss of sex drive, erectile dysfunctions, and a decrease in semen count. If any of these are important to you, Propecia may not be the best solution you can go with. Many people switch to an all-natural solution after their experiences using products such as Propecia, which gives such intense side effects. One of the more popular natural solutions you can look into is Procerin. It works similar to Propecia in the fact that it's designed to block the DHT hormone in your scalp. The big difference with Procerin is it uses natural ingredients to do so, the most important being saw palmetto. Saw palmetto inhibits an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, which normally helps produce DHT. Therefore, Procerin can limit this enzyme, which would limit the production of DHT, which would prevent further hair loss in your scalp. The reason why many people like Procerin is because it blocks DHT just like Propecia. But since it's an all-natural solution, you can do so without dealing with the sexual side effects. It's more of a realistic option to add into your lifestyle for the long term. However, Procerin isn't my favorite product. If I could recommend one product, I'd go with a solution called Provolis. It's really similar to Procerin since it's an all-natural supplement that blocks DHT. The two have really similar ingredients if you compare their supplement Bax label. The big difference between Provolis and Procerin is that Provolis contains minoxidil, the FDA-approved hair stimulant previously discussed. It also contains all the important herbs you need in the solid hair loss program, which includes saw palmetto. 
Propolis also contains important vitamins and minerals that your body needs to maintain healthy hair growth, which includes vitamin B6, biotin, and zinc, which are usually all sold separately, so it's pretty convenient to have all of them in a single capsule. So the main reason I think Propolis is the best hair loss product is it takes all the best aspects from popular hair loss products without taking their negative aspects. It contains minoxidil, which is Rogaine's main ingredient. It blocks DHT just as well as Propecia without giving sexual side effects and contains a few important ingredients that Proserin doesn't include. So check Provolis out. I actually have a full review of Provolis comparing it to a few other products I couldn't include in this video. You could find that at squidoo.com forward slash hair loss product one. I really hope this was informative for you and has brought you one step closer to getting your hair back. 